Hey, good morning. We got PJ over here and we're going to just do a quick little education class on the Suburban and uh, what's going on with the engine. So PJ, what have we found with the engine in the Suburban? All right. So the cause of the misfire currently in the misfire is on cylinder number one. Uh, cylinder number one is actually located on the driver's side which is the first cylinder, the furthest forward. Uh, these two rockers here connected to the valve springs. Oh, there we go. These rockers sit on push rods here and here, and the push rods go down to the lifters, which go down to the camshaft, which rides in the middle of the engine. The reason of the misfire because of the lifter is collapsed and I'll show you a, a good rocker and lifter. I go to touch this one. It doesn't move up and down. I go to this one, one finger and there's the play. There is the collapsed lifter on this cylinder. Uh, so to repair that collapsed lifter, the cylinder head has to come off. The intake manifold has to come off. Go back to that. Uh, with the intake manifold? This is the intake manifold, okay. uh, alternator, this, the bracket for the power steering, all have to come off to access uh, the lifter to replace it because with the lifter being collapsed, the valve, which the valve spring connects to the valve, the valve does not open properly because of the play. See, these lifters and rocker assemblies don't have any play and that means the valve is opening and closing to allow the air to come, the proper amount of air to come into the engine and the proper amount of exhaust to go out of the engine. Okay. From there, since the lifter is collapsed, it's not opening the valve properly. So that's why we are receiving a misfire. Now, let me raise the vehicle up. Hey, Roro. Hi, Princess. You have a book? Awesome. We're just doing a quick video. <laughs> hey, princess. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Um, look at that cool Sesame Street dress. And her Sesame Street book. Look at that. She's ready to learn. Okay. All right, so as you can see here, that we have gone ahead and removed the oil pan to verify if this vehicle has gotten gotten the updated parts installed inside the oil pan. Which oil pan's not here. The oil pan's over here. Okay. Bring the camera over here. Now in the oil pan, this is what's called the AFM valve, the active fuel management valve. It's the pressure relief valve that I was explaining. And what happens, it relieves oil pressure uh, these holes and it, it sprays into the crankcase. Well, it sprays so much it builds pressure in the crankcase and oil is allowed to bypass the piston rings and fouls out the plugs and also burns oil. The new updated parts are to replace this AFM valve and then install a cover on it to deflect the oil straight down to help with relieving uh, the pressure that it's producing so it doesn't build so much pressure in the crankcase in the oil pan area. Got you. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Yep, that's it. So yeah. there's two concerns. One, to go ahead and fix for the oil consumption. And then I secondly, for the misfire, we have to replace the lifter because the valve is not opening properly. Right. As right. you saw the play in the rocker. And then just so we're, I, and I explained this, but the first step per Chevrolet, what you guys did there, the first step is to replace 
the FM plate, valve with the new cover on top of right, it. Right, and she does have the updated valve cover. She does have an updated okay, valve. Okay, so the first cover. step, and then if that does not work, the next step through Chevrolet would say we put pistons in. Correct. And then if for some reason that doesn't work because you said that you've seen in the past where it doesn't, then you actually replace the engine. Yeah. So Maj kind of not a fun process, no, the majority, but that is the proper steps. The majority of the time, the pistons, uh, replacing the pistons take care of it. Uh, but we have seen cases where we put pistons in and the engine still using oil. So we go ahead and replace the engine. Okay. All right. And there we have it. Thank you for shot class 101 this morning, PJ. No problem. You're amazing.